Hey guys, Iggy here with Foutech Unlimited. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a knife sheath. Uh, it can be done with any knife. Really, the process is all the same. I'm going to walk you through it step by step, and I'm going to show you the end results here. All right, stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a knife sheath. Um, I've done it many times, so. I ended up, uh, I got this knife from a customer of mine. It is a quote unquote Damascus. It's not real Damascus. It's literally just a steel blade with um, acid etch on it. Handle's pretty nice though. Looks like a, like an ivory type grip. Um, yeah. Anyways, so uh, yeah, we're going to be making a uh, sheath for this and uh, I'll show you step by step on how to do it. Here we go. Start with your knife. Now find a roll of tape that you have that's wider than the blade, uh, and then um, this is what I'm telling you is a guideline. You don't actually have to do it, but it's worked for me. So one layer, two layer, three layers, three layers. Stop at the hilt, okay? And if you don't know, the hilt is this part. All right, so throw those on there, and with it being bigger than the blade, what I'm going to do is peel off the excess. All right, now we're going to do the same thing with this side. One, two, three, again. this and then as far as the handle I do three layers on the handle so one two three and then what you really want to do is you want to make sure that it gets in every nook and cranny so what you might have to do is kind of cut a, a relief spot in there or relief uh, so it's one side one Two and three. And cut. Fold. And then go back over. It's okay if it overlaps on the blade. Doesn't really matter. And then again, what we're going to do is uh, heat up our Kydex. Got it in the oven. And I currently have something in the press right now, so I'll take that out and I'll kind of talk about this too. Get my press open. good. So I have a bright lime green Glock 17 Polymer 80. So this is a uh, IWB left hand. What you want to remember with left hands is actually um, Glocks and SIGs. You could actually take the uh, magazine release out and put it on the other side. So you always want to block off the other side if it's left handed. So bam, that looks good. Alright, so I'll work on that in a little bit. But for now, it's going to be El Nifo. Once I get it out, there we go. Peel all this junk. Bam, good to do. And if you're not wondering, or if you are wondering, this is a uh, Cook's mold. I very rarely get a Cook's mold. Um, the reason why I have this mold is uh, Tony Katner of multi molds did not offer it. Uh, it was either at that time or doesn't offer it at all, so I'd have to look again. But uh, the reason why I have this one is again, Cooks offered it and Tony didn't, so only reason why I bought it. Right, so got the Kydex in there. Movie magic, probably pause you until this goes. But bam, there it is right there. See you in a sec. All right, we're just about at 350. It's at 3.30 right now, which means it'll take about 10 seconds or so uh, to get there. 3.30 now. Um, so uh, what we'll do with the knife is the dull edge goes in the uh, the bend. So I'll show you that. Uh, this is a brand new foam too. Um, so I'll show you how this works. All right. 
So, blade in. I'm pushing the blade forward as I'm pulling the kydex. And you want to try and get it as close to the middle as you can. And then slide it in. And then what I personally do is I keep the handle sticking out a little bit. Now what you can do, hey baby, what you can do is you can see if the handle rotates as you're pressing it, which will cause an uneven uh, holster to be made. I also don't go too far with that. I don't let it do its thing. Uh, this is my dog Barrett. She's Rhodesian Ridgeback, and apparently she loves to help me do this uh, this press. My oh, puppy. She's three years old, and supposedly is pregnant. So. So we have puppy soon, because you're due soon, right, baby? I'm getting you a little chunker. Hi, honey. Hi. I know. Smack. Can I finish the video? Good girl. All right. And then, uh, yeah, give this about eight minutes, and we'll we'll pop it out, and we'll take a peek. All right. Pull the knife from the foam. Take a peek. That's what it looks like. Looks pretty good. You can see this. Pretty damn good. So, what I'm going to do now is I take this, and I generally line it up at the edge, and then I'll put one mark, and I'll see where that's at. See how it's a little close to the blade? You don't want it that close to the blade uh, because the tension from the rivet is going to cause it to um, put extra retention on the blade. So, we'll get that off, okay. and we'll go just to see here more. So, we'll go right there, right there. Right there, yep. And I got this guy. So, but generally I like to do the same. Let me shut the fan off here. Alright. So it's going this way. Erase those. So we want this going the same direction. Pretty much parallel. So, boom, 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 and then we're gonna do a fourth one. All right, let me, uh, there we go. Now after the fourth one, you get the curve of the blade right here. Then I'm gonna just come down, just like so, and I'll do one, two, three, and then that's what we're gonna do. So. Load up my drill. Take the clamps. Line it up in those guys. We'll do that. All right. Now, give me a second. Okay, so there's one set. Then I'll line it up on the last hole. And then line it up on the first one. Lock it in. Boom. Ah, that one's just missing. So I'll, tell you, I'll hold this one by hand. And drill those last three. Okay. So that's what we're looking like. And then this side. Terrible. So, can't forget uh, our tool here. Only a couple bucks. You can find them at Home Depot. Um, knife Kits also sells them if you don't want to wait for shipping. Fantastic. Fast tool. And does a damn... Good job. All right, so now open this guy up. Take the blade out. Bam. I like to draw it. And then we'll go up. Uh, one thing that I'll also do is you gotta have a drip hole. I make this one smaller. It could be any size you want. 
but I'll go at the very end of the blade. And drip hole, drain hole. Alright, so now what I'll do is I'm going to mark out up here. Now, the reason why there's a rivet here and not any further up, one, this line right here is where this mounts and doesn't get in that way. So, if I come here, go up a little bit more, and then I come up this way, and I'm going to cut over this because that's the retention point. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to curve it. And then right there I'm going to boop, right off. So that's how it's going to come off. Bam, this way. Leave plenty of room right there, and I'll show you why in a minute. Alright, so here I'm going to load rivets. If you notice, I'm going to check the inside first. Looks pretty good. Load one, load two. I'm only going to do the very bottom one. the very top one. The main reason, if I cut too much off or if I uh, mess up in any way, I'm only wasting, you know, a couple cents of rivets. So, here we go with this. guy out. Alright, so at this point, this right here is going to be the retention. Alright, so uh, we're just going to take a quick peek at that and see where we're at. Um, obviously, you have to take, well you don't have to, I choose to, but at this point I take the uh, tape off because that's going to give you added retention that you just don't need. Okay, all off, and we'll see, let's see here. All right, so that's tight going in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shave a little bit off. It's always good to, it's always good to leave extra on there, and then we'll shave it down little by little because we could always take off material, but you can't add it. So if you notice, I started there, so before I do the whole thing, I'm gonna make sure my retention's good. Okay, so that locked in pretty good. All right, I'm not going to move it from there. I think that's perfect. I'm going to go on to the rest of the blade. Finish it. Then do a quick blowout on the inside. I'll show you what's next. All right here I am with the heat gun. 
and I'll show you what I do. So, blade, holster, heat gun to where I want it. Let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna take just this area, and I'm gonna heat just that up. So it gets flexible. Okay, there it is. Turn the heat gun off. Bend it with your thumb. Stick the knife in. And get a good spot for it. So I'm gonna like it right there. Might be a little warm, but my thumb's callous. And that right there will give you a good pull once it gets hard enough. And then once it's hard enough there, we'll go back to this side with my Dremel. And smooth it out. And, uh, all right, next step. All right, next step, I'm gonna put the remainder of the rivets in. And you know, you could go wild, you could do whatever you want for colors. Right. And every now and then they fall out. If you notice, I don't use the lineup tool. It's just a pain in the butt. You don't have to. The amount of experience you'll get, you can feel it. And then that's with all the rivets in it. Still, everything's good. And we'll move on to the next one. All right, we're back over here. Pop that off. Do a quick sand. This is my quote unquote polish. Wipe down, spray it with the REM oil, get all the crap out. And then I'll, I'll run water through it too, let it drain out, and then I'll blow it out with the air hose. Uh, that's how I clean it. But you can see that edge is pretty good. I don't like a shiny finish, I like a matte finish. All right, so over here, clean the blade off. So we know this is a good click. That's literally all the retention. All right, anymore, it's gonna just be like crap. So now I'm gonna throw this on here. So these are regular quarter inch nuts with the uh, quarter inch washers. And then these are the small ones I have. Let's see here. And if you notice, I'm not. Um, oh, I actually have to make, have to go one more up. Yep, I have to go one more up. So three eighths nuts were too small, or three eighths bolts were too small. So I had to go to uh, next one up, which is uh, seven sixteenths. So I'll throw that on there. There's one, two. And the reason why I'm not doing a thread locker is because with this mount, it's square. So you could carry it horizontal and pretty much anything you want to do. And what I'll do is I'll make sure it's pretty, well, obviously tight. But I'll look at how it sits on there. And there is a knife sheath. So you can do a couple more things too. Um, I'm probably gonna 
clean it up maybe just a little bit and uh, see what I can do. So I only have four holes available. This one is directly behind this, so technically I only got three holes to work with. You know, so I could put a paracord in here, tie a knot, go in here, and then out through here. But it's just, it just kind of won't fit. So I might just leave it as is. I don't think there's enough room for paracord. But regardless, there it is right there. Oh, and here's the uh, holster you saw in the very beginning. So that lime green beast. I'll finish that. But uh, that is exactly how to make a Kydex sheath. And uh, hope it helped you. Happy bending.